In this tutorial, we're going to assume that you have already logged in to phpMyAdmin and are ready to create tables inside of a database. Let's go ahead and select this database here. To create tables, we simply provide a name for the table such as users and define the number of columns that we wish to use. In this case, we're going to choose three. Once we are ready to proceed, simply press the go button. Here you can see the table name. And you can see that three blank columns have been created for us. Let's define our first column now. This is going to be used for a user ID field. We're going to go ahead and leave this type set to integer. And we're going to tell it to be a length of uh, maybe four characters long. For default, we will go ahead and just select none. And we will come to the bottom and select our index type, which will be primary. because This will be our primary key. Scroll down a little bit more. And select auto increment. This way, every time we add a new record to this table, it will automatically increment the numbers for us. Now let's define our username column. This is going to be a character type. We're going to go ahead and define a length of 150 characters long. And uh, this is really all we need to do for this uh, column. Let's also go ahead and add a password column. This too will be a character type. We will set it to 100 characters long. If we scroll down, we can see the option to add additional columns to this table while we're working on it right now, or simply save our work and apply the changes. Now that the table has been added, you can click on it and take a look at its structure. Congratulations, you now know how to add tables inside of PHPMyAdmin.